Hello and welcome to Sigmoor Park where today is in Gannon Swift's host Cliftonville in the Sports Direct Premiership. But Adrian, give me your thoughts on the season so far. Uh, well, the season so far is um, that we started off. We um, took a bit of time for obviously rather than to get his best team, but of late we've done reasonably well. But, well, it, it could be very different, but if we could put the ball in the back of the net, we put it creates so many chances and if we take a few more of them, we're going to get more wins, but We've been drawn with the big teams, Lauren twice, Coleraine, Glintorn. Like, they're so, so close to winning, but I don't know, we're just, we're just so close. But Rod coming back is a massive boost, and he's really got them playing, and they all believe. You can see the difference in last season and this year, the belief in the players is, is unreal. Like. There's been ups and downs, the Lauren game was good, but... Um, they've played really good football this season, but they just haven't got the results that we've been wanting. But so far, they're good to watch, a joy to watch. It's been tough. You're always going to get tough opponents when you're a fairly small club in the league. But we're doing not too bad. You know, we're always going to be in our allegation battle. So far, the season for me has gone well. Performances have been good. Just haven't got the results at times, but the performances compared to last year for me have always been at a high standard. At the start, we had a few games where we could have maybe done got better results but we're getting there but now we've come into a bit of form and I think we're going to move on from that and, and see where it takes us. What's the journey been like over the past few years for Dungana? Well, at the, before the league starts you know the bottom six and the top six it's, it's so hard to, to break that but as long as we can stay clear of relegation which last year was we were very close but well, we're getting there I think we'll, I think we'll, be, we'll be okay this year but the journey's been it's been very good. It's all, a lot of ups and downs, but the ups are so good. Whenever you can win a game and you have won for four or five weeks, that feeling is there's nothing like it. There's nothing like it, like honestly. It's been a, a bit of a you know sitting at the table for bottom of the table for a long time. It's just trying to trying to bring them up out of that. Um, and they it seems to be you know hoping they're rising now. You know we're you know we've brought in quite a good few players here and. They seem to be gelling quite well, so um, they're, they're coming together, you know. So the, the future's good. Over the last few years, we've you know we've maybe changed our managers a few times. I'm trying to build a team over this last couple of years, and now everything has settled down a wee bit, and we're maybe getting to where we should be. And hopefully things will move on and pick up for us. I'm here for two years, so for me, I've been welcomed with open arms as is my family, and it's been a roller coaster coming in last year and nearly getting relegated. Uh, renewed hope around the place this year has been brilliant for me personally. Just tell me if you had to choose one who would be your favourite player that you've seen play here? Oh my favourite player has to be uh, I love Dean Curry I think he's brilliant I think he's a great defender he's agile he's fast he's reliable um, yeah I think he's a great defender. It has to be me Matty Lusty like he's unbelievable this year he's he's I actually no words to describe him he is so good and the only thing is he's on loan <laughs> We actually might have to go back, but I think hopefully we can we can sign him and he's going to score. He'll score goals. Like he's already scored, I think it's five or six this year now, and we're just coming into December. Easily he'll score ten or more. Like um, he's been unreal this season. Um, so crucial, but that's what we're really missing. Like a, a proper goal scorer to put that them chances in the back of the net. But it's coming. It's coming. I, I believe it's coming. Uh, ben Gallagher. But my dad was really good. Like, i got to say him. Um, he doesn't play here no more, so uh, Ben Gallagher. And tell us a wee bit about your dad then. Well, who's your dad? Uh, Shane McGoon. Uh, well, he, like, he, he had a really good Irish, Irish league career. Uh, he played for a lot of teams. and He went over to Southampton for a while, under 18s, and then got released. And then uh, he came here, and our mass said he poured it down everywhere. Like, really good player. Like, and, then, and then just injuries, you know. Uh, ended it like John Scott he's a really good player I love him he's very fast and he just shows me how to be a better player for me whenever I'm playing for DUI and what to improve on we'll make it a wee bit easier for you if you had to choose one moment following the club then which would be your standout um, probably getting the Irish Cup final um, and to be leaving the game for so long and losing penalties was got branching but it was, a, it was a big moment for the football club probably the League Cup final 2018 Nothing can match that. Well, it has to be 
either there's a couple like but either winning the League Cup there in 2018 or the playoff there and I know the circumstances weren't great where you have to win a playoff to stay in the league it's not the best feeling but just the party afterwards <laughs> the celebrations from the players they all really it meant a lot like it did but I'm glad we're hopefully not going to have to face that again this year What do you love about the Irish League? It's more, uh, the Irish League is better a league than everybody makes it out to be. There's a lot of people think that they have to support Liverpool, Manchester United, but if they'd actually come to the Irish League and see what it's all about, they'd maybe get more out of it, in my opinion. The fans, the staff around this club in particular, our manager Rodney is top class. Dixie and Choka, also backroom staff, brilliant. That makes it all for me. Normal football, like it's one of the best leagues about. The Irish League, well, um, it's it's local. I love um, the fact, you know, that people can come here to stay more. They love that, you know, the family atmosphere we have here. Um, the league, you know, it's just a good place to be able to go round the grounds and just follow local sport. It's, we're a family who loves sport, so having something that we can do together is for our downtime is just amazing. Do you say to someone who's never been to an Irish League game before? Um. Come and watch an come and watch an Irish League game. You could be surprised that the the team at the bottom of the league, the team at the bottom of the league could be beating the team at the top of the league. You can't predict the Irish League. Everything, I, I, everything I love about that is the fans and the football. It's all so and the way you can interact with the players. You see the players in everyday life. Like they all go to work. They all well, some of them go to work, <laughs> but it just it, the rawness of it. It's just so good. The quality and. The way you can feel, I we feel we have a connection with the players here at Dingham because we have, we're a smaller club. The players know you more than if you're a big club like Linfield or Glen Torn. It's 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 different. It's so special, and I think whenever we can get out on our big numbers, the players for like the likes of Block All last week, we had big numbers out. The players really fed off that, and you could see it on the pitch. Like they were responding, and we ended up winning. So. And what does Dingham mean to you? It means a lot to me. My, my brother was here all his life, my sister was here, my father's been here all his life too. So it means a lot to our family and do a lot for the club. So he does. My brother does a lot here now as well, you know, so and it's a family thing. Chairman and everything, cousin ours, everybody just digs in. So it is and that's what it's about. My heart, just everything, like, that's all it's about, like, that's all, all I really worry about. Because, like, at the Gannon you need to be, like, Oh, what would you say? You need to be like focused in it, and all the coaches are really nice. Ding Allen is life. Ding Allen is life. I think I've been going every single week from I'm 18 now. I've been going every single week from I was 11 or 12, and I've missed a handful and they really like a handful of games. And I, I wouldn't miss it for the world, honestly. Pre-season, everything. I mean, Ulster Cup, anything. I'll be there. I just I love the club, and now we've got the supporters club set up, and. It's really going really, really well and it means a lot more people can get to every game. They have wanted to go to games but they haven't been able to because there's been no, like the younger fans would, can't travel, there's no cars, no buses, no nothing. But now we're giving people the opportunity and we can see the sports growing. I started off at this club as a ball boy um, and then I worked in the backroom staff and now I'm vice chairman for plenty of torture comes along with that so it's just my, my father has been here as well so it's uh, we just part of the blood to be honest. Just my local team, local team, and um, just means a lot to me. Mikey, what does it mean to you whenever you're out there waving the flag? It means it means that I'm on the pitch and doing something. At least I'm doing something good. I'm going to ask you all the same question, Trish. What does Dungannon mean to you? Dungannon, well, it's home. Um, County Antrim girl um, is where I was born, but living Tyrone now and Dungannon, just this team, the camaraderie, the fellowship. You know, it's just, it's a great place to be around and, and it's the team I, no matter where in the league they are, we'll support them. Caitlin? Yeah, home in one word, home. It's great, I love it. You come here, great football, great community, everything, you know. Like, also, County Antrim girl, but you can't, can't beat Dungana, can you? Daniel, what does Dungana mean to you? Just a joy to watch them, really. They're a really good side, and even if at the bottom, I do play for them. I'm hoping to eventually go and play for them myself. Fantastic. And Garth? Um, coming here to Stangmore, it's just, it's just a, it's a family day out. You know, first and foremost, coming to watch, you know, good, some really good football. 
um, and it's it's just a great distraction from everything else that's going on, you know. So um, yeah, it's we just we just like being here.